I heard that Kristen Kurland at any restaurant she goes to gets bottomless mimosas for free. Ugh. One time in Bigot, I saw Kristen wear Vans and I had to do it for the rest of my life. So thank you for adjusting my fashion sense. I saw Kristen last week at a hot dog place and ever since then I've eaten hot dogs every day. Thank you for showing me how to eat a healthy diet. One day, I will be Kristen Kurland. I'm determined. First, I got her hair, then I got her jacket, then I got her shoes, and one day I even found her shirt in my drawer. Weird, right? <laughs> I shit my pants at class. <laughs> one time, Kristen saw me crying inside the girl's bathroom and she helped me sneak out the back window so nobody would see me. One time, Kristen and I slept in a kitchenette together on couch cushions for five days and she woke up before me and my body was blocking the door and she had to go to the bathroom so bad but she waited until I woke up to pee and that's when I knew we were going to be best friends. Kristen once broke a card right in front of me. She told me it's to show dominance. I've yet to achieve dominance. One time, Kristen and I were watching the Justin Bieber movie and Kimo shat on the floor. <laughs> like when we were watching the movie and it smelled so bad that both of us were like gagging slash throwing up and Steve had to come downstairs and clean it up because we wouldn't clean it up. The time that Kristen told me that eating six eggs a day was weird so I began eating ten. <laughs> One time Kristen Curlan caught me sneaking out of the house and she didn't tell my parents but she did blackmail me. One time Kristen Carlin threw makeup remover in my face, and I swear it was better than the Pope's holy water. Hashtag, praise be to God. And by God, I mean Kristen. One time in elementary school, the counselor told me I should be friends with Kristen because she was the nicest and the prettiest fourth grader there. She was right. 